Tales from the Pizzaplex is a book series that took the FNAF fandom by surprise after the immense disappointment from the second half of Fazbear Frights. It made up for the incredibly weird stories that FNAF had thrown at us in the last few books and Frights, like goo that can make a clone of a human, cats with human faces, a man transforming into a stop sign. It just made people see the entire book series as a joke. So when people say things like, Frights is in the game's timeline, they get laughed at. But Frights canonicity isn't what I'm here to talk about. I want to talk about the new book series, Tales from the Pizza Blacks, and why I, and many others, believe it is, without a doubt, in the game's timeline. Starting off, the original description for Tales from the Pizza Blacks stated that it was set in the world of the newest games. It was probably cut for the same reason that Cassidy was cut as the name for the princess in the Security Breach files, that being that they don't want to just spell it out for you. In this video, I'm basically going to go through each Tales book, as of this writing, there's five that are released and point out what proves this book series being in the game's timeline. In the first epilogue of Lally's game, we see Burntrap absolutely massacre a group of workers. Their blood is basically all over the FNAF 6 area. There's also a vehicle that's parked directly outside the building. It's there when the protagonist is demanding all the survivors to seal the door to the building so that the Mimic cannot escape. If you actually go back to Freddy's Pizza Place and Security Breach, both of these things are there. An abandoned old vehicle and dried blood all over the walls. Funnily enough, there's also a water bottle that the protagonist of the story leaves close to the entrance before leaving. It's still there on that table. Moving on to the second Tales book, Haps. There was literally a cut line in Security Breach that talks about a robot that can cause casualties upon accidental human retrieval. That's literally the Haps animatronic. In another story, Help Wanted, we have the literal rogue indie developer, heavily talked about in the game, Help Wanted. And while it's true that some stories associated with our name were loosely based on actual events, the majority of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. This is the indie developer that Fazbear Entertainment worked with to cover up the murders and horrible tragedies that were associated with the company. Fazbear Entertainment killed the indie developer about three quarters through his job. There's two things being covered up in the Help Wanted. The murders, and Steve Snodgrass's death. Lawsuits pending. How much more do you need outside the story alone? Anyway, in the second epilogue, the teens that break into the FNAF 6 building describe the red-coated walls in the building as dried blood, further proving my point about the first epilogue. Moving on to Book 3, Somnophobia, doesn't have that much besides the story pressure showing the extent to which Fazbear Entertainment gaslit people with the indie devs games and their own games. It's pretty much a perfect continuation of what we already know. On to Tales number 4, this was interesting to me. The teens, while absolutely fleeing from Burn Trap, who was trying to pull off all their limbs, some of them are running through vents and such, and are given a choice between going up and down at one point throughout the story. They go up. If they'd went down, they would have entered Henry's Labyrinth. But Tales number 5. That has something I want to talk about. In Security Breach, around 75% of the arcade machines have an impossibly high score with the name GGY as the user on it. Gee, I wonder who GGY is. Regardless, in the story GGY, in Tales number 5, we have a boy investigating how someone could get these impossibly high scores. This is the most on the nose thing that proves the Tales are in the game's timeline. We literally have a prequel story to Security Breach that investigates a mystery in the game Security Breach that will probably tie to Gregory in one way or another. And that's the non-spoilery stuff I could give. If you don't want to hear spoilers I'm about to give, skip to the given timestamp. In this story, which was leaked by Anton weeks ago as of this recording, it's quite the story. It tells us Gregory is patient 46, and it tells us he's the one getting the therapist killed. This story has to be in the game's timeline. These reasons are why I believe Tales from the Pizza Blacks is factually in the game's timeline. These are stories from the Pizza Blacks about mysteries within the Pizza Blacks. That's all I've got for today, and I will see you all on the flip side. Creatures are waiting, anticipating, eyes are reading a glow. Grinning up at the show, awaiting everyone to come home. Creatures are stirring, anxiously spurring, eyes revealing a glow. Grinning after the show, 